What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh Helm. And I'm Brandy Helm. And today we have a special treat for you guys because we're gonna be walking through this 50 by 50 barn dominium. We've been kind of down to the wire for the last couple of weeks, just trying to get everything done so we can uh, get another one of our clients moved in. Yeah, I think they're moving in this weekend. This is a, a barn dominium project on a 2.6 acre track here in the Waxahachie area. And uh, you know, it's got all those country feels. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. All right, it's not all done. It looks awesome. I just love this part when we have a finished product. So I know, you know, I could sit here and talk all day about how something is built, but you know, there's a lot that goes into the process of getting to this point. A lot of decisions to be made. So, really um, in love with this barn dominium. I'm really excited about the finished product and how it's turned out. I think one of the things that is more exciting to me is that it's a it's a simplicity, you know. And that seems to be kind of a real uh, popular theme through culture and things like that now as well. So. I think you guys are going to enjoy walking through this one with us. You know, we, there's a lot of hands-on involvement, you know, when we do these type of builds. So a lot of personalization, a lot of, um, you know, I'm pretty hands-on during the build phase of our, of these projects. Yeah. And the customers, sometimes they know what they're looking for and they may have it all mapped out and they have exactly what they want. Um, but sometimes they, are just looking for ideas. What do you What do you think we should do? So that's right. So there's a lot of uh, maybe more suggestions and things like that. But a lot of times when it comes down to the selection process, even though uh, you know we have kind of a list of things that we need to gather for selections, um, a lot of times I'll turn you in or turn you over to the clients, and you guys will spend a lot of time just kind of going through. Uh, the selections to determine uh, what what they might want to do. And I know that was the case here. So uh, definitely look forward to hearing your perspective of that process, you know, as we were walking through. Well, first of all, she, she really wanted white walls. So because we did so much white everywhere else, we wanted to kind of change it up and make the cabinets stand off. And so we went with a dark Orion gray, Western Williams. And I really like how it turned out. This island is amazing. Yeah, um, and it's not, I mean, it, it is not the largest island that we've done, but it's definitely by far not the smallest. It's a uh, eight foot long by three and a half feet. And this is something that's kind of consistent with design we've done before. We did keep with that X pattern um, that we did uh, in, in several other builds and also creating this kind of furniture style piece, right. extending the cabinet beyond that creates that great underspace. Right, there's plenty of space to put in some bar stools. You can slide them under where they're out of the way and, and plenty of space for eating just to kind of add to the, the dining room space, so. Very nice. And I love the uh, pendant lights as well. Yeah, the pendant lights, they have a little bit of a rustic finish to them and they turned out really nice. The customer was wanting to do stainless steel appliances everywhere. We went with the brushed nickel hardware um, and the stainless steel farm sink. And we have this real nice little commercialized. That is nice. You know, it's a one bin sink and, and I think it turned out really nice. I, we might need one of those in, in our place. Yeah, absolutely. It's lit from above as well. You can isolate uh, just lighting over the sink if you're standing here at nighttime and you wanted to wash your coffee cup out or, or whatever. And as well as we have the under counter lights as well here. Cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. Right, centrally located to the dishwasher. So a lot of functionality you can do here when it comes to maybe cleaning supplies, maybe Tupperware or whatever on this side, but there's a lot of storage space here in these this side of the cabinet. And then we've got some more storage space in here, the corner pantry that- One of my favorites. One of my favorites, <laughs> yeah. I, somehow we always end up working at, in a corner pantry in the kitchens. I don't know, somehow it just seems like a good 
It's uh, a good fit. It's just, fit. it's a great way to maximize your space, I think. Um, there's plenty of room for uh, lots of food, canned goods, and, and maybe even some small appliances that you want to put away that you're not using all the time. Uh, one of the other features here is the auto light as well, so that you can uh, come in that get that late night snack and maybe not have to turn the switch on. You know, I'm all about, let's get right to it, get that snack. You don't have time for light switches when, you know, it's the middle of the night. Right. Well, in this island, I love that there's a trash drawer. You can conceal Absolutely. all the, you said you could fit two trash cans in here? Put two, uh, two tr trash cans in here that are turned this way. So you can sit them uh, front to back. You can fit two in there. Um, that way it's not put in the pantry. You can. Continue. That's right. I definitely would prefer my trash not be in the pantry where my food is. <laughs> I don't know, something about that just never seemed to go well together. No, but I really like that. Very nice and a lot of additional storage as well on this side of the island. Well, on this side, we've got our, our range stove here and um, a range oven and then the microwave above. Yeah, with that nice cooktop, which additional storage as well on each side. A lot of storage in this, this cabinet space, isn't it? Talk about the backsplash a little bit. How did we get there as far as color scheme? Well, this, this backsplash was picked up by the customer. Um, it's got a lot of the warm tones in it. It complements the cabinets really nice. And, uh, and I think you picked the grout color. I did not pick the grout color, but I did go get the right color once we were putting the wrong color on. So there, you know, when you're building a house, you create a lot of memories. And that was a memory that day. Once he started putting the grout in, I'm looking at it and I'm like, Something's not right. And then it was an immediate run to the supply to get the right <laughs> color. Over here, we have this uh, fully wrapped refrigerator. That really finishes that off nicely on this, on this outside. Right, because you don't see any of this space sticking right, out. Right, and you're not seeing the side of the refrigerator. Absolutely. So I know that you previously said that uh, our clients wanted to have the, the white walls and in here we're showcasing these ceiling fans that are really you know standing out also giving some contrast to design as well as uh, you know we've got the crown molding and our four and a quarter uh, baseboards and this beautiful floor the doors as you can see we use the same gray color that we did on the cabinets. Yes. And this is just sort of a simple trim that you can do to maintain farm style theme as well. But it's just a one by four trim that we use going over that. With this being just a wide open space, this I believe this is where the customer's gonna have their living, their living room. I think we've got a, a wall uh, plug for their TV. So I think they're gonna have their couches here. I believe there's gonna be a small office space on this other side. Um, and then it's open to where they're gonna have their dining room. So we'll have a large dining room table here under this, um, this light fixture. And I think it's- Which is really cool. Us. Yeah, it kinda all ties back into the kitchen. Well, you wanna check out the master bedroom? That sounds like a great plan. That's right over here off the main living. Pretty spacious in here as well. Yeah, and here we did a lot of can lights um, because the customer has, a, I guess, a really tall bed. And so they okay. didn't want the globes hanging down from the from the ceiling fans, so. Absolutely. And got plenty of room for a big poster bed over this way. And I love how it looks out, you know, with that big country view and sees really this, this acreage and things like that they purchased, so. They can just step out as well because we have access onto the, the back, back porch. porch. Yeah. So you want to check out their closet first? Absolutely. So this closet has got the double rack here, but it's also got the third rack above for maybe seasonal things. Winter storage. Yeah. And then we have the long storage here, the dress. I call it a dress rack, but. I think that's what she wanted, if yeah. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so we got lots of storage. Um, we got a couple of taller spaces for, for boot storage. So. Absolutely. 
And I think they're going to devise some additional organizational stuff as well on the right side over here. I think there's plenty of room in here for the two of them. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think it was going to be like his over here and hers over here, but... <laughs> How about hers over here? And over I think there. it's all going to be hers, <laughs> from what so. I understand. I'm sure. So uh, let's go see the master bathroom. All right, let's go check it out. So what we did in here is we have the full height linen cabinet that we did, which gives you quite a bit of space. And of course, same color cabinets in here as well as that we did in the kitchen. So it matches everything. Also in here, we're maintaining the consistency with the shaker stall cabinet as well as this the brush nickel hardware, but we have a Aura bronze uh, faucet, which matches our shower in here as well with the semi-frameless Aura bronze with the glass, as well as our light bar. And I really love how this turned out in here. It's just simple, you know, the really, not having the space uh would have loved to have gotten two sinks in here but um, we've got the one but we needed some counter space as well and i think this works really well for what they wanted and what they were trying to accomplish in here as well so in the shower we have the spray handle that is detachable and this is one that our client picked out also we have a decorative band that is a mosaic tile that goes all the way around. And for the floor tile, we're using a uh, pebble stone with uh, a black grout, so. Okay guys, so this pretty much concludes the interior portion of this build. So now let's get to what really a lot of probably the guys and Maybe some gals want to see. They always want to see this part. So let's go to the shop. All right, let's go. Let's check it out. So one of the things we were trying to accomplish in here, we do, this is a 50 by 50 total uh, footprint on the whole build. So um, in the shop area, we basically divided it up. We had the living area on half of the 50. So it's 25 by 50 living on this side. And then on this side, we had 25 by 50 shop area. The laundry is under the stairs area. This is also, you know, the request from our client. They didn't want to have a big laundry room taking up a bunch of space. So they, you know, this is kind of how they, they wanted to set it up. So we had the laundry as well as our hot water heater, things like that, utilities under here. We've got a nice size closet in here though. Good space, and then the hot water here is tucked behind the wall here. Absolutely. So there is additional storage over here. It's just, you know, like I said, it's a tight space it's in order to get in, but the uh, washer and dryer here is what they wanted. We do also have a humidity switch that kicks on for ventilation as well under this area. Um, we also have the zip barrier system as well in here to help with some of the air tightness or as far as moisture is concerned, uh, leaning back into towards the house area. But this area will be uh, monitored by humidity sensing uh, switch that will kick a fan on if the humidity is too high, levels are too high. So that's an adjustable uh, thing that we have in there as well. But this, meted, this met the needs of our clients and uh, it's like I said, it's all about that uh, space that you want. And so now let's go on up. You go upstairs? To the... To the unfinished attic This space. is unfinished storage that we have upstairs and it gives way to pretty much a whole nother living area if you want. Yeah, potentially they could they could close it in and, and make additional bedrooms up here or game room possibly. Absolutely. Wow, this is a really big storage area. There's a lot of space up here. You could do a lot of things. Lots of space. Uh, again, what we're trying to accomplish here is keeping a lot of our utilities and things as far as mechanical um, to the lower side of unusable space that we had. 
But one of the things that our client communicated is that maybe later at some point they might want to add another restroom. So we've actually already prefabbed the plumbing up here. Uh, it's not uh, roughed in, but we have the availability is already made uh, space for that. So it and went from a 1250 to square foot, so they can add. Yeah, I think here. essentially uh, around seven, eight hundred square feet additionally that they could they could add on and a, they could have a bathroom up here, maybe a couple more bedrooms, you know, and you got a lot of options. Okay, so that pretty much concludes all of our under roof or under dwelling uh, covered areas. And so now I think we should go out and show you guys uh, the back porch. really high covered back porch. Yeah, so one of the things we were trying to accomplish here is just to, you know, have that <laughs> extended gable come on out, but have a little bit of, you know, rain protection. But one of the limitations that I had because we were trying to maintain 14 foot door height was I had to have a 14 foot clearance um, at the end of the uh, flat work out here. So I had to keep that up high. And, you know, in consideration with, uh, you know, keeping that high and dropping that down low, we just made a decision to keep it high all the way across. We did add the skirting on the sides to help with a little bit of, you know, just wind and rainstorms, things like that. But uh, I'm telling you, we also put a lot of lighting under this big area, and I'm telling you, at nighttime. At night, you can see it. it I think you can see it from the other side of Waxahachie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I really like this back area. You know, we kind of created this uh, covered park, I mean, this parking space as well as you lead into it, which allows you to have that, you know, use to come straight through. through straight through the yeah. shop area which is really nice and then over on this side it's more of a uh setting for uh i guess lounging and patio furniture drinking coffee in the mornings yeah. just come out here and that's put, right off the master right off of the master suite and you can set out your lounge chairs things like that and then just enjoy the beautiful countryside overlooking um, that way. That's really so. nice. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so always for the curb appeal on the front side of this build, uh, we had quite a few talks just talking about, hey, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? And, you know, it was always an ongoing conversation, but we never really solidified what we were going to do. But, you know, when we were putting the design together, it was 50 by 50 building, which we were going to maintain that gable frame going all the way from front to back with a 412 pitch, 14 foot eave heights. And we knew we wanted to kind of line it with a darker trim as well as have the lighter panels. Now you could either have a wainscot, you could dress it under the porch area. Do some stone. You can do stone. There's so many options of things that you could do. But here we felt like we needed just a little extra something. And after discussing it, we came up with this uh, option to add the the X, not like the, the door panel, basically for like a hay barn, right? So you got your, uh, X door up there and your cedar shutters over here, as well as your large uh, gray door to match your front entrance door. You know, we really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this build from start to finish because, you know, we had cameras rolling pretty much from the day one. And so here it is, the finished product for this 50 by 50 Barnuminium build in Waxahachie, Texas. So I hope you guys will take the time uh, to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. 
I'm Josh Helm. And I'm Brandy Helm. And we're wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas, Texas Best. best.